my name is Alexa Callist and I've been doing Mathletics for a year and a half now and I'm just going to run you through some of the things you would do in the Student Centre. So this is the Student Centre and these are my medals. For a gold medal you need more than 85, for a silver you need 50 to 84, and for a red you need less than 50% and blue means unattempted. So we're going to go right to the live Mathletics. Now in live Mathletics you can either verse the world or verse the computer. Um, I'm going to go versing the world and um, it's going to match me up with someone um, in real time actually on Mathletics right now. It's matched me up with someone in Venezuela, two people in Venezuela. There can be up to four participants in each live Mathletics round. So I struck out. So that means that I got three incorrect answers. Now the round would go on for 60 seconds if you got less than three correct. So now I'm back at the student center and I'm gonna choose one of the activities. I'm gonna do patterns, rules, and tables. So here's my first question. I got that one right. Okay, here's my next question. I got this one right. Oh, now I'm stumped on a question. So then I can click on the question mark and it'll give me an, a, a sample question. Let's say the question I was got stumped on is harder. You can either click medium or harder questions. So it gives you a, an example of both. Okay, so now let's say I get a question wrong. It gives you instant feedback on whether you get it, got it wrong or right. So I think that's awesome. So now I'm going to go back to the Student Center. Hi, my name is Daisy and I'm a teacher and we're going to go through the Teacher Center and show you all the functionalities. So this is the dashboard for the Teacher Center. The top four are more of your functionalities and the bottom five are more of your resource. So we're going to go through some key concepts. First area we're going to go through is the classes. This is where teachers can go and differentiate their group of students. So I can see that all my students are presently working on one particular curriculum. If I want to differentiate them and place them in various curriculum, I'd create a new group here. Name this anything you would like because the students do not see what curriculum they are working on. So I'm going to name a grade two group here, I'm going to choose the country, and then you're going to choose your provincial curriculum. So depending on which province you are teaching in, is where you would choose your curriculum. Say if I'm in Saskatchewan, I would choose Saskatchewan grade two, and then I've created my group. In order for a student to be working on this curriculum, it's as easy as clicking, dragging, and dropping them over top of that tab. You've now differentiated your group of students, and the students can independently carry on. Classes. Courses is where we go to look our provincial curriculum. So this is where you can see that the units are all displayed here and then there are corresponding outcomes or objectives that need to be covered. For teachers, you're able to customize the courses that we've created to meet each student's individual needs and make sure that they're covering their strengths and weaknesses. Results is your markbook. This is where teachers can go and see how their students have done for um, the courses or curriculum. I click on Number Sense and it's going to show me a quick overview of how the students have done. This is also where you can tie in home-based usage. You can assign them tasks for them to complete at home or in a computer lab and it makes them focus on the task at hand. Reports go into more of a progression of how the kids are doing. You can break it down into weekly or their strengths and weaknesses here. Challenger are provincial government issued exams. Ebooks are printable PDF books that go from kindergarten to grade 12. They are all, all Canadianized and you're still able to differentiate here because nowhere on the books does it indicate the grade. You click on the book and you can print off either the students or the teacher books. Grade 4, 5 and 6 are also in French. Demonstration is a great teaching tool. You can bring up the student center and launch with your kids 
maybe bring in some points and collaborate as a class in order to problem solve. And then the last two are basically how a teacher can customize the courses. Toolkit allows you to bring in different mediums. Lesson Planner allows you to bring in interactives, which are in the eBooks, videos, and put them into a module and play this as a teaching tool. And that's Lesson Planners. Thank you.